hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add a restriction on our next and previous button so when the car selection finishes we want to disable the buttons accordingly okay so right here we already have a reference to our next button and previous button so right here before this full loop we will say previous button dot interactable and this will be equals to current car not equals to zero let's do the same for the next button we will say next button dot interactable and then the current car will be not equals to the transform dot child count minus one so what this means this means that if the current car is the number zero or you can say the first car then we don't want to show the previous button because we are already on the first car and what this means that if if the current car or if there are no more current car left then we want to disable the next button so this will basically disable the previous and the next button accordingly now let's just save this and right here on the player car spawn area now we need to assign these buttons so it was inside the selection canvas let's assign the next button and now let's assign the previous button that's it now if you play the game okay there is no car showing but if we press on this next button okay here is the car let's go now as you can see we don't have any cars left so that's why the button is now disabled and if we check the next button right here as you can see the interactable is now disabled if we now click on the previous button as you can see now the interactable is set to true it means that the button is now enabled and now it is disabled and now if we go back as you can see now the previous button is disabled so as you can see right here and also guys we want to activate the first car when the game start if you see right here when the game start we don't have any car enabled so let's enable the first car in our menu when the game start for that right here at the top let's add the awake function and then we will say choose car and let's select the first car okay click save and now right here if you play the game you will notice that now the first car is enabled and now we can go forward and backward so we can select between different cars now in the next video we will give the player the buttons to play the game and also we will play the game on that car which the player select okay so for that catch you guys in the next one